Hi, I'm Pastor Bill Viggio of Meet of the Word Ministries. I hope I'm stirring you up a little bit, at least to think and to consider and reflect upon more scriptures than what you have on this subject of the, of the rapture. If you're getting anything out of these things, send them to a friend. You might, you know, don't be the judge and say, well, they're not ready for this. Let God be the judge. I found this, you know, this to be a fact. So many times we're so tentative about, oh, we're afraid that so-and-so is going to walk away. Have the courage to share the word of God or the messages that, uh, that, that God has speaking in the land today with other people, you will be amazed at how receptive many people that you don't think would be receptive will receive. Now, yesterday, and again, we've been talking about certain qualifications. We were in Revelation chapter 3. We talked about the church or the believers that were in the city of Sardis in Asia, or Asia Minor. And Jesus sent a word through the Apostle John told them to write and tell them in this church to be watchful and secondly to strengthen those things that remain because he had found that their works were not complete. They were not right. Matter of fact, they were dying, spiritually dying. They were letting go of truth. And so he told them to watch and to strengthen those things that uh, remain. And then he placed a conditional promise upon them. And this was a negative promise. We're going to look in a moment at a positive promise, but here is a conditional negative promise that he said to them. He said, if you will not watch, if you will not watch, then I will come upon you as a thief and you will not know. Now that shows that you're not in right relationship with God when you don't know something. Because when when the Holy Spirit is with you, with you, he will show you all things. That's his, that's his, uh, his, this promise, I will show you all things. I'll guide you into all truth, teach you all things, even showing you things to come. So when you're out of relationship, you're going to be in a don't know situation, and God doesn't want you to be there. You've got to be watchful. You've got to be prayerful. You've got to strengthen those truths that you hold dear to. Hold on to those things. Don't forsake your first love, and, 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 and understand that there's conditions. And here the negative condition was, if you will not watch, then I will come upon you as a thief and you will not know the hour that I come. Clearly, that is an indication that these people would be left behind, not necessarily in their salvation. I don't believe that at all. They'd be left behind to suffer through a tribulation period for the purpose of God trying them and, and purifying them and refining them. Because if you won't obey God in obedience, then he loves you so much, as many as he loves. He rebukes and chastens. Be zealous, therefore, and, and you know, and get right with God. Be zealous, therefore, and grab hold of it. Now, in the church of Philadelphia, we have another promise, but this time it's a promise or a note of victory for this church. He writes to this church in Philadelphia, and he says um, in verse 8, chapter 3, verse 8, he says, I know thy works. Behold, I have set before thee an open door, and no man can shut it. For you have a little strength, and has, have kept my word, and you have not denied my name. Once again, here we see a reward system that is being explained by Jesus. They had did not denied his faith. They had kept his word, and they had a little strength. He was proud of this church. He was proud of these believers in this particular city. It was a city that was going to prosper in God's righteousness because of the strength of the believers that were there. I believe we have a massive effect upon our city and our state, our countries, if we'll do the job that God called us to do. Be zealous. And we've got to be, be faithful in his word. So he goes on to say that. Then he gives them a warning of some coming trial that they're going to go through. Notice they know of something that's about to happen to them. He gives them this word. He shows them things to come. He says in verse 9, Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet, and to know that I have loved thee. He was warning them that there are liars among them, sitting in seats of authority, saying one thing, but they were liars. And then he says, gives them this promise based upon a reward for their faithfulness. The other churches that are referred here are not getting this same reward offered to them. And it's a reward of a rapture. Verse 10, it says, Because you have kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation or the hour, hour of trial and tribulation. I will keep you from the hour of trial, temptation, and tribulation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the whole earth. Those that are left behind 
those, those that are sleeping and slumbering and are not ready and are not watchful, are not faithful with the gift and the calling that God has given to them, they will be left behind. But here is a promise because these people had kept his word, had not backed off, had not denied the faith, had not denied his name, his character, or his authority. They were promised that they would be kept from the hour of, of, of uh, tribulation. And which was going to come on all the world, not just them, but all the world, all those that remain on the earth. So another portion of scripture that we need to reflect on, we need to take into account and consideration, because it takes the whole counsel of God for us to form our belief systems and our doctrines. And if we're going to believe regarding the rapture, let's not just pull things out of the hats. Not, let's not just live off of the things that we think our superiors have told us. Most of these denominations, or all denominations, have just scratched the surface on this subject. But those that are going to tread out the corn are going to make a difference in our lives. So be open and listen to those voices that are studying the Word of God and rightly dividing it. You have a wonderful day in the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you.